So with that, everybody, meet my guest, Matthew Rosen Rosenfeld. Welcome to the show, Matt. Thank you so much. Great introduction. Happy to be here. Yeah, well, happy to have you. So um, you have a unique approach to building brands because you deal with established D2C brands. And so what that means is they have built a certain amount of brand equity and you you don't want to disturb anything there. You want to preserve it. At the same time, they are jumping into an ocean where there are many others building brands very aggressively and frankly, in a more expert manner, because Amazon, as you know, requires a whole different approach to handling brands. So you developed a unique approach to doing that for established brands. So tell us what that is. Yeah, so we, we take a very brand first approach to Amazon, where a core part of what we're doing is trying to create a cohesive narrative for the brand. So aligning the narrative and the story they're telling on their website with what they're doing on Amazon and then crafting that cohesive journey where we're always thinking about what is the customer journey and what are the KPIs associated with that for Amazon. Okay. So, I mean, when I think about it, really, this is no different than anybody else who really needs to build a brand, right? So you're not doing yeah. anything different except that what you're doing is you're coming into the whole Amazon marketplace with a story already that is well crafted in terms of its position. Yeah. So anybody else has to do the same thing. So whatever your message is, make sure that it's on the website and then also it carries through to Amazon down to the listing. So that part is, I understand. Yeah. But what I like about your approach is you link it back to the KPIs in terms of how the customers behave. Tell us a little bit more about that. So what kind of KPIs are you referring to? Yeah, so it's, it's interesting because a lot of what we do is we talk to our brand partners about what their end goals are from a brand as a whole, right? So encompassing what they're doing on their website as well as on Amazon. And so a typical Amazon first brand is gonna say, I wanna do as much revenue and make as much profit as I can within the Amazon ecosystem. But a larger, more established brand where 95% plus of their revenue is coming from D to C, Amazon's incremental, may say, you know what? We actually have a little bit of a different goal for Amazon as a channel we may want to look at Amazon as an acquisition channel where we can acquire customers for less than we can on Facebook or Instagram. And part of our product is consumable or there's a recurring purchase component. Maybe we don't offer that on Amazon. And so what a lot of what we're doing is helping them set up tracking and insight to understand, are we acquiring customers for the first purchase on Amazon and then having them convert and become subscribers to our recurring revenue component on our website and how are we best incentivizing that behavior? I see. So, but you know, Amazon does not want you to take their customer away from Amazon of and then to your website. There is an inevitable, if you like travel from Amazon to direct relationship, uh, if they trust it. So, uh, so using Amazon as a customer acquisition tool, mainly because you have recurring revenues. So it, it could be for a number of reasons, where what we're seeing is that given Amazon is a much higher purchase intent channel than a Meta or a TikTok or even Google, right? Your cost per acquisition is typically much lower on Amazon than it's going to be on any of your other paid channels. And so there are a lot of ways to use Amazon add for maybe a portion of your overall merchandising assortment, where the goal is to introduce new customers to your brand, but it's not going to ever be a core channel for you. And so that's a little bit of the difference is defining Amazon will always be incremental. And in what way is it going to be incremental? And then that core understanding influences the entire narrative and journey you're crafting for that Amazon customer to lead to 
the end goal of the brand. And the end goal being direct dealing. It, it might be direct, but it could be a number of different things. It could say we want people to cross sell to another portion of our product line. We want them to subscribe on our website. We want them to buy an info product associated with this product from our website. There's a number of different kind of permutations um, or directions the customer could go in. Okay. All right. So, well, the incremental may sound a little bit too, uh, um, what's the best way to put it? I guess not so ambitious. But incremental also means slow and steady. And as you know, slow and steady always wins the race, right? So it's, uh, it's always the right approach. So